new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the Orlando Magic. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And we've got David Aldridge joining us from the sidelines. tonight the culmination of all the hard work put in during the offseason and not just by the players you have front offices trying to retool to get better and coaches scheming to get the most out of the players they have and that's a daily job isn't it? all season long staying on top of them making sure that they have an understanding of what they are supposed to accomplish with each and every workout now here's Grant Here's Jordan, and slam dunk by Jordan. Boy, what a ruthless, wicked dribble move that time by Jordan. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. Here's Skiles, guarded by Paxson. And here is Jordan. And they double up Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Using his tremendous strength and body control. Jordan shrugs off the contact and gets the shot to fall. Out of minute played so far here in the first. Skiles the pass to Kite. Here's Skiles. On the wing, good on the bucket. Scott Skiles. Now Jordan. Good, nice job down low. Jordan's got six. Some contact won't hold Jordan at bay. He gets aggressive and gets through it. Skiles, the pass to Kite. Turner looking around. Here's Skiles. No good that time. Always rough to miss a layup like that. The defense bothered him for sure. It's Pippen on the way. And the pass to Grant. Outside for Pippen. Pass to Jordan. They get a hand on it. Six to shoot. Pippen dishes to Jordan. And Jordan throws it down. Well, really good vision, very unselfish. That's why you run offense through Scottie Pippen. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. From the line, Skiles shot is off. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Scrappy under the basket. Great strength to pull in the board. Pass to Jordan. Hard right against Scott. Second chance shot, and it's blocked by Scott. Anderson outside, and Scott has it in the corner. Turner trying to free himself up. Scott can't get it to go. The Bulls leading by six. Jordan inside, working on Anderson. No good from Jordan. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. To the paint. Here's Kite, and he banks in the lane. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in a game to fill the rhythm. That was the 2K drive. As that move deserved another look. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Passes to Kite. 
outside Turner. There's the pass to Sky. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Just too good a player to leave open. And now the first time out called here for the Bulls. the new group for the Magic. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Here's Armstrong. King, the pass to Hodges. by Harrell. Gets it to go. That one good from Purdue. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. There's the pick. Pass to Reynolds. Here's Newman. Can't connect from short range. The Bulls leading by six. One fourteen left to play here in the first, and it's Armstrong missing. And the defense wasn't horrible, but still, he's got to come through there. There wasn't enough resistance to prevent him from scoring that one. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly, that was their game plan coming in. Armstrong with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Hobson. And Reynolds pulls it down. Hill Purdue grabs the miss. For Chicago, they've gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. We've got 28 seconds left here in the first quarter. Five to shoot. Shoots from 14. Hodges, that's good. For a shooter of Hodges' skill, the mid-range is wide open. He knows how to dial it in. Here's Reynolds. From 17 feet out. No good on the shot. Michael Jordan getting it done for the bowl. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Bulls leading by six. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Last decade, the Celtics won three titles, went to five finals. But now, Mike, in the 90s, has Boston's window closed? Yeah, I don't know if it's closed all the way. They've gotten older. Larry Bird isn't what he used to be. There's still a good team, but not a great one. Must be hard for a coach and a GM, personnel department, to let go of a player that has been good for so long but they're clearly getting old like, like turning over a roster that has been so successful it's got to be the timing but, but just the emotion tied to it that's got to be tough well your memory can't be too short you can't forget what that great player did for you in the previous years so now as he gets on in age you owe him that respect to always consider him a part of the team Skiles the pass to turn First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he knocks down the first one. Taking two shots. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Bulls leading by six. Jordan 
down low, defended by Anderson, and slam dunk by Jordan. Lighting it up, Michael on one tonight. The Magic shooting only 31%. Their offense really struggling to put possessions together. Here's Skyle, guarded by Paxson. Pass to Turner. And it's slammed in by Turner. Trying to grab hold of that momentum right here. Well, that play, that play right there, that'll fire up your teammates. Hey, they're still competing. First personal foul, second team foul. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Jordan. Bank shot, no good. And he knows he's got to convert in these situations. No excuse given the limited defense on him. Here's Skyle. Anderson in the post. Jordan on him. Kite passes to Anderson. Here's Skyle. Guarded by Paxson. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That's his first foul. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Anderson finds Turner. Shot clock at six. Moves back up. That shot missing. Now Chicago takes it the other way. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando. Pippen with the bucket. Pippen's got the lead up to eight now for Chicago. Boy, Pippen showing you some passing right there with that nice finish. Here's Skyle. Here's Scott. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. Jordan drives in. And it's Jordan with the jam. And this is why you just can't give Jordan a running start. I mean, once he has that, the launch pad is set, and he's going to ecstasy right through the air and on top of your head. Left side, Scott. To the left wing, here's Skiles. And it's Chicago with the rebound. They host the 76ers after this game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Jordan and the dunk by Jordan. Outstanding finishing there by Jordan. Terrific at getting inside and powering the flush down. Outside Turner. Pass to Anderson. Nifty move. The pass to Sky. Over Paxson. Skiles' shot is off. The Bulls leading by 10. Paxson passes to Grant. Scott against Pippen. Here's Jordan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First strong move in there by Jordan to draw the contact. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Jordan, two shots. Shoot two. First one falls for him. The blend of athleticism and scoring prowess Jordan possesses is insane. He's capable of destroying teams all by himself. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Bill Cartwright, he's checked in for Grant. King comes in for Livingston. Hobson's checked in for Pippen. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for Paxson. Here's Vincent. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Bonus foul. 
Dennis Hudson. Hodges checked in for Chicago. Third team foul. We've got 148 left in the first half. Offensive rebound. Vincent off target at the rim. The Bulls leading by 12. And here's Armstrong. That one falls. Armstrong's got his first points of the night. Not known to be a flashy ball handler. Armstrong that time spreading the opportunities. Has to run it. They could use a bucket. And it's King with the rebound. Bulls have gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. Hobson passes to King. Here's Hobson, and there's the whistle. Three-second violation. The Magic trail by 14. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first half. Good on the shot. Hodges has got his second basket. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. We've got 33 seconds left now here in the second. He's covered by Armstrong. Lock at six. The Magic need to get a shot off here. The shot by Newman, no good. Tell you what, you can feel their frustration underneath the surface. It's actually palpable with all these misses. They're trying to shake it off, but every time they come up short, the panic starts to set in. Hobson, that's good. Solid pass from King. Excellent job finding and hitting the open man. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Rolls ahead. They finish off the second quarter with a huge surge. An 18-6 run. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Love the way he makes those sharp, relentless cuts to the rim. He's been a major thorn in the defensive side. No question. I expect him to keep knifing inside as much as he can. This is how aggressive a player he is. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Hip it. That shot is off. And Orlando will come the other way. And the call will be against Scottie Pippen. That's foul number two for him. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. It's an 18-point game. Here's Skiles, guarded by Paxson. The kick out to Scott. Shoots the three. Chicago grabs the miss. Inside, here's Grant. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Grant's got the first bucket of the third here for the Bulls. Here's Skiles, guarded by Paxson. Feeds it to Anderson. To the wing right side. Kite passes to Scott. 
goes up on the wing. Unable to get that one. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Jordan looking around. Here's Pippen. Magic foul. Scott Stiles. First personal foul. First team foul. And Chicago has possession. They lead by 20. It's the most we've seen. And yes, it's good. We've seen this from Jordan before. He lurks around the offensive glass. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And this is what you love to see. Up big, no letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. Scott against Pippen. From inside. Scott the pass to Kite. Six on the shot clock. They get the rebound. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Kite's got his second bucket. Fighting to keep the play going. Grabbing the board and sending it right back. It's Pippen on the way. Defended by Scott. Jackson kicks to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Some people think of Paxson as a shooting guard in a point guard's body. But he can pass it. Magic have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Pass to Anderson. Knocked away. And stolen by Jordan. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Oh, the determination is unmatched. MJ able to embrace contact and finish. We'll shoot one more. The Bulls have looked good at the line today. They're perfect in four attempts. The Bulls making a switch here. Purdue's checked in. Free throw good, Jordan. Here's Skiles. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Passes it to Anderson. Fades away. The rebound by Jordan. You know, you got to feel for him. He just cannot seem to buy a bucket here. Yeah, but he has to stop shooting. He's really hurting his team. Enjoying this big lead, and right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom, this is the pinnacle of execution. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Armstrong's checked in for Jordan. BJ Armstrong. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Kicks to Turner. Defense! 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 And the pass to Skiles. The Magic again can't hit. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. And that one's good by Pippen. Pippen's got his third bucket of the night. I love to see Pippen hunting his shot, especially when he's got the position he wants inside. Skiles, the pass to Anderson. Scott inside, guarded by Pippen. Scott can't get it to go. He had space to operate inside, but just couldn't get it to fall. Here's Pippen, and it's good, two points. Pippen's got four this quarter. Coming out of halftime, they're on an absolute tear. And I don't know what was said in that locker room, but it's working. Two minutes remaining in the third. Skiles, the pass to Anderson. Now, here's Scott. Will it go? And he lays it up and in. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Up top, Pippen. Defended by Scott. What a power surge by these guys. They can't miss. Literally, what a stretch. 
Here's Skiles, guarded by Paxson. Scott up top. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. And that'll be his third foul so far. So for the Bulls, Kings check in for Grant. Hobson comes in for Scotty Pippen. And Hodges subbed in for Paxson. Goes up off the inbound. Vincent misses. The Bulls have gone 8 of 10 shooting here in the second half. Very strong. King, that's good. With his size, King is a real handful inside. Tough to defend him around the basket. Orlando's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Reynolds passes to Turner over Armstrong. Once again off the mark, Orlando. And the Bulls with possession. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Here's Hobson. Plays it up and banks it in. Hobson's got his second bucket of the night. They're starting to idle down and settle in. Much better shot selection this half. Yeah, they're showing great patience at the offensive end. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Armstrong. Magic moving the ball around. True on the 14-footer. That's an awful defensive lapse, allowing the uncontested jumper. Armstrong passes to Purdue. Goes up. And it's Kite with the rebound. Kite's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Reynolds. And so it's Chicago. Up by 33 points as the buzzer sounds. A huge lead for them. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. He's guarded by Hodgins. Pass to Reynolds. Now five years since the NBA, Mike, went to three officials on the floor. Uh, it, it appears to me it's definitely helped the game. What do you think? So much action happens at once. You need three refs looking. Sometimes you wish there was a way they could review tough calls. Don't you think that's coming, though, Mike, down the road to add another layer of, of observation? It just makes sense. We have the technology. Why not use it and get it right? Pass to Vincent. Here's Reynolds. He's covered by Armstrong. Just five to shoot. Passes it to Newman. Fades. That one's not going to go. Newman's gone one of four so far. Up top, Armstrong. And there's the pass to Livingston. He kicks to Armstrong. And the shot goes down. Great strength. Armstrong flexing his muscles on that one. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. He's guarded by Hodgins. Pass to Reynolds. Six to shoot. On deep. And they get it back. They just continue to own the offensive glass. Not taking it easy on the defense at all. Hodges. First personal foul. First team foul. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Pass to Harold. Here's Vincent. A trend we're seeing in the NBA now, Mike, is an influx of talent from overseas. Teams, uh, it seems to me, are scouting worldwide. 
It shows how far basketball has come as an international sport. Players are coming to the NBA from every continent. This is a global game now. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And one of our featured players tonight earns our player of the game, Michael Jordan. Well, he has absolutely been ferocious in this one. Right from the opening tip, I mean, he's made his presence felt. It's been impressive watching him outwork and out hustle everybody during this game. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Here's Grant. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Such a savvy distributor. Jordan's court awareness and understanding for when his guys are open is impressive. Here's Vincent, guarded by Jordan. Passes it to Reynolds. And the call will be against Scottie Pippen. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. This offseason, 10 teams making coaching changes, Mike, and uh, the most in a few years. What do you think about this trend? Yeah, believe me, I'm very familiar with it. Owners <laughs> are impatient. They want winners now. So if you don't deliver quick, get that resume refreshed. So how would you approach a job? Win now, or do we want to build, or do you get the assurance? Like, there's so many different factors here. The way you could, as a coach, no go. I would say that when you're in a meeting with your owner and general manager and they're telling you how they have great patience and they want to see you build this program, I think you nod your head yes, up and down. When you walk out of the room, you say to yourself, I've got to win games right away. <laughs> Nothing to try and be opposite of those guys, but they sometimes have short memories when it gets to the end of the year and the fans are impatient and the media is on you. They make a change rather than remember that long-term plan they talked about. Good insight. Now the pass to Reynolds. Perilous screen on Cartwright. Here's Reynolds. Grant gets the rebound. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. And they double up Jordan. Two minutes remaining in the game. Pippen with it. Now guarded by Harold. Banked in off the glass. Wow, even against contact. Paxson refusing to be held back. The Magic have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Here's Vincent, guarded by Paxson. Vincent's shot is good. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Stay aggressive. I don't ever like to see teams pump the brakes when they've got the lead. Stay aggressive, attack a fantastic way to pad your cushion. Absolutely. You know a run is coming. Here's Reynolds, guarded by Pippen. Six on the shot clock. Here's Vincent. And Pippen pulls it down. Pippen's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the Bulls. This one was never really in doubt, Mike. They stayed firmly in control of the game throughout. A total success story. I agree. Things were just clicking for them out there. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one. It was a dazzling game for Jordan. He's been assertive looking to score. And the defense appears helpless trying to stop him. Very impressive. 
Vincent the pass to Reynolds. The 11 footer that one wide left. Now here's Jordan. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Drives to the hoop and the dunk by Jordan. What a way for them to finish the game. Closing it out with some terrific play. We've seen too many games slip away late. They did a great job of putting this one to bed. Paxson with the steal. Here's the break. And the dunk by Grant. Boy, the crowd had a huge role in the outcome in this one. It's tough to come into this building and beat them. That's tipped. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Well, Clark, they put on a show for this home crowd, playing with a lot of precision and just having their way out there at the end. Yeah, this place was buzzing on fire. The energy was overwhelming, fun to watch, but not so much fun for their opponents. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you later.